Hello class, for our writing midterm project, we are going to focus on creating a descriptive article for a newsletter. So you are going to work in groups of four and you're going to write two articles. So you will pair up into groups of two inside your groups of four and two of you will write an article together so you will have two articles for your newsletter you're going to go to this website here and look at seven different places for your article your articles to research so you're going to pick a place, each pair in the group will pick a different place, and you're going to write about it. So what you want to do is after you pick your location, you're going to want to go in to a search engine such as Google and type in what you are going to be looking at. You're going to do your research based on what you are going to do your article on. However, do not use Wikipedia for any of your information. Use some place like Britannica or National Geographic. You can also go to the actual country or locations website. What you want to do is once you go into these websites, you want to take a look at what it says, do your research, and organize your article into what you think is the most interesting information about this location. Why would someone want to visit it? Why is it considered a beautiful place? Remember that you are doing a descriptive article which means you are going to be using a lot of descriptive words. So remember to take some time to create an adjective list that you can use for your article. Once you've written your articles, you're going to go to canva.com. This is where you are going to be able to set up your newsletter using their templates. So at the top you go to templates and you go into newsletters. Here you can start looking at newsletters. I suggest you click here and select the free only. That way you know which ones you can use without paying. So you take a look at which structure you like and from there, you pick the one you like, and that is what you will create with your newsletter. When you pick your newsletter style, you can take a look at what the design shows. You can use these side arrows to change between newsletters without returning to that main page. Once you decide on a newsletter you really like, you choose Customize This Template. In here, you will be able to work on your template to change the photos, change your articles, write your information, add different elements, and when you're ultimately done, you're going to want to download it as a PDF. Remember that you need to cite your sources. That includes wherever you get your photos from. Here is an example of a newsletter that you should create. Remember to pick pictures that are clear and represent the location best. You will actually be adding a source underneath your photo, so please do not forget that. This is the Washington Post page. 
And as you can see here, they put a caption under, which is also an option for your photos, explaining what the photo represents. But the important thing to note is that they cited who took the photo. So please make sure that you include citations under any images you use. Remember to put your names and titles of your articles. Keep it very nice and presentable in a way that people will want to read your newsletter. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me and I will answer your questions. You can